qualifying. Uh, I'm going to do a few laps of qualifying. And uh, I did some drills a little bit ago to work on a particular corner. And now, um, after stepping away, getting a bit of a break, you know, maybe and something to eat, something to drink, um, I'll come back kind of refreshed, restart, and be able to look at the whole uh, course instead of just, you know, focusing and over analyzing and over complicating. So I'm just here to drive. Um, I will be doing some racing um, today and this qualifying session uh, will prepare me for those races. So we'll see how well we can do and we'll get to some races um, after this qualifying session. Um, my goal for these sessions is to really incorporate all. Uh, I'm not going to overthink, I'm actually just going to drive and knowing where the areas are where I can pick up speed. I know some things that I'm doing wrong. I know what the top driver of the week is doing right. Uh, I'm just not able to emulate it, you know? Uh, but knowing where it is and knowing that I, there is a better line to pick, um, I can, you know, slowly work on that. But Again, not to overanalyze it, but to just take in the entire track, be consistent, be calm, uh, drive my line, and minimize errors. That's what's going to help. So, this session is the preparation uh, for some racing later on. Uh, probably within the next uh, 15, 20 minutes or so, I'll do some racing. Something feels a little bit off in the steering wheel. Not sure what's going on, um, but if I find that it's not correcting, um, I'm gonna have to reset. So I hate to do that. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, something's definitely off. I'm feeling like I have to turn the wheel more. We'll see. Maybe it's just me. I did set a fast, fastest qualifying time um, earlier today. Um, I was at 134.594, now I'm at 134.428, so I dropped a little bit more than a tenth of a second. My goal is actually 134 flat, and that puts me in a better qualifying position to get on the podium. We'll see how the steering wheel is doing. Definitely like that line better. That's my tough corner that I've been working on. I don't expect it to be perfect, but I do expect to have a little bit more comfort with it. If I can conquer that corner, or at least do better 
it probably means I'm doing better than most of the drivers because if it's tough for me, it's probably tough for a lot of people. And that gives me an advantage. Me, we're trying to keep that number above the speed blue. As long as that thing stays blue, it means we're putting down faster and faster lap times. That was a bit wide. It's okay. You see my blue turned to red. It's okay. plan on doing some racing here very shortly um, I'm laying down pretty consistent lap times I'm happy with it I don't expect uh, on this qualifying session that I'm gonna hit any record qualifying times that was much better much better look how much time we gained three tenths of a second nearly four tenths of a second for taking that tough corner the right way. This should be better. Look at that. Should be able to carry this through. Can we get a second faster? Not quite. 134.8, that feels good. All right, so I'm gonna sign off, sign back in, and I'm actually going to, um, let's see if we can get a, a race going. We'll take a look and see how soon it is for the next race. Let's do it. Ah! Ah! I got 21 seconds. All right, let's get a race in. So I'm gonna sign off um, and sign back in under the racing guide. So if you are watching, um, you can hop over to the race with me. So let's switch uh, video to a new live feed.